So a unit vector is a pretty cool thing. A unit vector um, definitely has direction. So vectors have direction and magnitude, right? Direction and magnitude. But when we talk about a unit vector, a unit vector, what makes it a vector become a unit vector is that the magnitude, the magnitude equals one. So when the magnitude equals one, it's a unit, one unit. Sometimes we need just, just the direction of a magnitude, of a vector. So sometimes we need just the direction of the vector. Therefore, we need to divide out the magnitude. So when I say divide out, let's just say my magnitude was 25. I need to divide out 25. When I divide out 25, I get a distance of one. It's kind of pretty cool. Let's say my magnitude is three. When I divide out, when I divide out that magnitude, I get a value of one. So that's what we're going to be doing here. So if you can just think of it in terms of dividing it out, and here's your dividing it out. But I keep thinking that that's a highlighter. Here's your dividing it out. Remember the double bars. Double bars means magnitude. So double bars means magnitude. And when you have one over a number, that means you're dividing by that number. One divided by the magnitude. You're dividing out the magnitude from the vector V. So this is your vector. So let's show you how this is done. We want to find a unit vector in the direction of V, which has a component form of negative 2, 5. And we want to verify its length as 1 when we're all done. Okay? So first thing I need to do, number 1, is find the magnitude. Find the magnitude of vector V. I'm going to try and make it bold lowercase, just like, just like it is there. So we find the magnitude of V. Well, the magnitude of V is equal to the square root of negative 2 squared, which is 4, plus 5 squared, which is 25, which is the square root of 29. 2, step 2 that is, divide each component, divide each component of V by the magnitude of V. So you're going to divide it out. This can look a number of ways. You can divide it out by making it appear to be multiplication. Make that more less of a curve and more of a point. Or you can negative 2 divided by, you could do exactly what I said in step 2. Divide out from each component the square root of 29. Now this answer is good enough for me. However, on a standardized test, they will rationalize the denominator. denominator very likely, they will rationalize that denominator. So it is highly likely that they will rationalize the denominator. So just get comfortable with being able to do that. Now we want to verify, I want to verify that this vector, either one of these, the one in yellow or the one in green, I want to verify that it has a magnitude of one. So I'm going to do that over here in blue. I'm going to find the magnitude by taking the square root of negative 2 over the square root of 29 squared plus 5 over the square root of 29 squared. And that's equal to 4 over 29 plus 25 over 29, which is the same thing as 29 over 29 which is the same thing as 1, and the square root of 1 is 1. 
so it's verified. So this is an answer for sure, this yellow boxed answer or the rationalized answer. Okay, you're gonna go ahead and try, go through this same process, step one, step two, and then you can verify and make sure that you've got a vector of one. Okay, I am going to work this out. My step one was find the magnitude of u. So that's the square root of zero squared plus negative three squared. Well, that's the square root of nine, which is three. Then step two, I'm going to take each part of my vector and I'm going to divide it by that magnitude, so I'm dividing out the magnitude, which gives me a vector of 0, negative 1. This right here is my unit vector, my unit vector in the direction of vector u. Now I'm going to show you vector u. So I'm going to verify it. Not necessarily verify its length is one, but this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw a picture of it. So 0, negative 3 means its horizontal component is 0, and its vertical component is negative 3. So that vector looks just like that. It's going due south, and it's a length of three units. Now, zero, negative one is this vector right here. Oh, let me do this in blue. It's this vector right here. Notice how zero, negative one. So notice how it has the same direction as vector u, this unit vector, but it only has a length of one, which is a pretty cool thing. So it's very useful later on in, in our work with vectors.